Hi dear souls, this is Celeste. We will take a look with this video on how to work with a Pico card reading. How to get the best out of your Pico card reading. So at first we will speak about uh, how to choose but just briefly and then the composition of the reading and then we will go through the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual aspects of how to work with the reading and the tools, the main tools, the most simple tools to work with the reading. So, let's go into the composition. We have the piles that you need to choose. When you need to choose a pile, you employ your intuition to make a choice, to make a decision. So your decision then brings you the consequences of that decision, the reading itself. So by doing this, you are working with your intuition and also learning about choice and free will. After you make your choice, then you go into the reading and you will be faced with the composition of the reading. And many readings will have a directory visions, so main visions. I will start with those without the unveiling or looking at the cards and then go on with the reading. We will also have sensory aspects like uh, information that comes through the senses like what I hear, like what I feel, what I see in my inner um, vision and also you will get sensory input yourself like you may feel in a certain way you may uh, smell something, you may see something around you, not necessarily something spiritual, but you may uh, just feel something in the room or hear something playing on the radio and so on. The whole reading puts you in a space of growth and self-assessment, self-analysis and self-development and self-knowledge and self-discovery and while you are connected with that space then what happens to you and around you will help you also integrate the information that you get from the reading itself so at first do not dismiss what is happening around you for example if you get um, blocked or um, let's say you will try to listen and watch a video and you get stopped and uh, delayed by something someone comes at your door knocks on your door the neighbors just uh, start a party all of a sudden and uh, maybe uh, someone's dog starts howling you have so many things around you that provoke you not to listen or not to watch or to do something else. It distracts you from what you desire to do. Now that is resistance. That is an expression of resistance that you can find inside you and that resistance is to the information, the knowledge, the answers, the wisdom or um, the experience of that reading. So if you are aware of what's happening around you, you may also understand something about you while working with that reading. So your environment is also useful. Whatever is happening to you regarding that, uh, that reading, just look at it with uh, a new perspective, perspective, in a new way. Try to understand why you are getting blocked or stopped or why you are resisting or what's happening around you. Now, 
Your environment is a clue for you on how to work with the reading and also your sensory aspects like what you hear in the room, what you hear on the road, what's happening around you. All of those tiny clues will get uh, to help you understand more about the information conveyed to you and also your reaction to it. Okay, so we will have a reading and each reading usually has a structure. This is because I love structures. I'm a Capricorn. I'm an earth sign. I'm organized. I like organization. I like to know the structures and I like to make things structured. So most of my readings will have a defined structure a really clear structure that I am going to follow. Some of the readings will be free flow, but I usually do not enjoy those readings as much as the structured ones because of what I said, because of myself, because I like structure and organization. And because that provides a foundation for me in which not to be structured, in which to just let things come and be a bit chaotic. That structure for me, it's a safety foundation that I need to anchor myself into something here and now and uh, bring the messages here and now instead of just staying in that state, high state, where all information comes to me, but I cannot actually convey it because of the high speed and high vibration. So I am using that structure for safety and you can do it as well. By knowing the structure, it will help you organize the information. So to start off, with the reading in a safe place, I invite you to go look at the reading structure section in each video so you get clarity and you start off with something simple and clear knowing the structure of the reading. So this is how you start by making yourself aware of your environment of your reaction to watching the reading of what's happening around you you can also take up a journal and write these things down any reading can offer you such a rich environment of self-growth and self-development if you work with it if you do not take it uh, on a superficial level if you just give it the um, chance to lift you up, to open you up, to light you up and to help you grow. So again, first be aware of your environment and then of uh, the reading structure so you get clarity on how to start and you get a foundation on which to build and be clear about what you're getting next. Then make your choice and go through that um, experience of doubt, of choice, of free will and uh, the experience of choosing your pile will also help you work with how you make choices and uh, help you learn more about free will choices. Then let's go into the aspects practical, emotional, mental and spiritual. The practical aspect of a reading and how to get the best of those practical aspects. Now, in order to put a reading to work for you, you need clarity and integration. Integration of uh, information given will lead you to clarity. Do not actually expect to get clarity right away. 
Some people may be really um, experienced with getting clarity right away and that is amazing but if you are not that is okay just do not uh, accuse yourself of not being able to understand something just accept that you do not understand and go from there also do not judge the reading or um, just the environment or try to blame something else again Remember that you have the chance to get the best out of your reading if you give it a chance, if you give yourself a chance. And if you accept sometimes that you do not understand everything and that clarity may not come to you right away like instant clarity. Now clarity, it's a process that uh, starts with a foundation of clarity that can be but uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be the structure of the reading that will uh, give you like a structure a safe structure to start with that is clear and simple but you can pick something else i'm sure that uh, many of you have uh, creative um, abilities and you may find something else to anchor yourself because some of the confusion or the lack of clarity may also come because you do not ground yourself because before a reading so i actually encourage you to ground yourself before a reading to start off with a small meditation maybe five minutes of breathing that's it will just change your state from uh, what you were before your daily life to be more open to the information coming towards you so you can better understand and integrate it you can make of course uh, like 15 minutes of meditations which i actually um, recommend i will also make a meditation for you to start off a reading on uh, on this um, to get you into the right state so you may get also more of the reading from a reading now a pick a card reading is not a personal reading so not everything will apply to you if you focus on what's for you then you will get what's for you and it will be clearer than if you just focus on everything and you are open to everything so for a pick a card reading just put this in your mind the intention to get only what's needed for you in that moment so you do not get confused into all of the other information that is probably for someone else this will also help you ground and be more clear and um, just uh, help with the confusion in some moments okay so practical aspects to get the action what you need to do like the actionable bits of information out of a reading you will need to order the information inside of you which means to integrate it, to arrange it, to, um, to just uh, perfect it like you would uh, work with a raw stone to make it beautiful. You get something that's raw for you, for some of you, not all of you, of course. If you are in the resonance of the dominant resonance of that reading, Things will be clearer for you, most of the things will be for you. But if you're not, then uh, some of the things will be for you. And you will need to pick and choose and have that focus only on the things that work and uh, need to come towards you. So, to have that action, to draw that action out of the reading, order it, arrange it into simple things and simple prompts or um, simple ideas for you now when you first 
Watch a reading when you first listen, you will get the main things that most resonate with you. But most of the times you will get the confirmation of some things that you already know because those things will be on the surface of your awareness. But those things may be just uh, and usually are just the tip of the iceberg, just what you see first. I encourage you to go beyond that. To do not let yourself just um, finish at those tiny points on the surface because you may get confused very easily with other readings or just by thinking a little bit more about that subject because you do not uh, you did not yet integrate the wholeness of the information and things are not as clear as they can be because when we first listen as i said we get confirmation of the things we actually knew because those are on the surface of our awareness the closest to us but we have other things and other aspects that uh, will come uh, to the surface and will make more clarity, will give you more clarity than you have at first glance. And also, those things on the surface may also confuse you at times because they are not uh, properly integrated or explained. So go ahead and work with uh, the reading to get that treasure out of it. And after you order it and you arrange it, you will get the actionable bits and steps of action that you need to take and go towards. How you get that and how you make order with a reading? For example, you will listen and you write yourself a few key points, ideas and uh, key words for each of uh, the cards. So let's say if we have a structure with uh, three, three main tarot cards here and we have an aspect, okay? Let's say uh, what we need, what we don't need and uh, what is important. Now for each of them, write what you need and some key points, some key words. And again, for this one, key points, key words. For this one, key points and key words. And again, you can focus on what to do, on actionable steps, because you will find actionable steps in each one of them. But they will be among all of that other information. So if you just want the actionable, simple steps, the main steps, go ahead, re-listen and write them down for each of the aspects and this will help you also order the information. Then you can go ahead and expand on those points and find some additional points when you re-listen again. And uh, you can make also a summary and this will get you with the main points, with the most simple things, actionable things, practical things, your confirmations and all of that stuff things all of those things in an ordered fashion and this will also help you ground the information more and make more clarity because clarity means order if we do not have order in our house we cannot see things clearly we don't know where we've uh, put that thing or the other thing right we cannot find things if we don't have order and clarity comes with putting things in your own order because as I, as I have said I have my own order you have your own inner order and the way you understand things are not the same as the way I understand things and if you have questions don't hesitate to put them to ask me in the comments uh, or to send me an email on my website as well. Again, I may not be able to answer everyone, but I uh, will answer some of you 
and uh, the ones that I feel that need those answers and that those answers weren't given in the reading, for example, or in other types of readings or teaching videos like this one. So, order, that is how you start to integrate the reading. You will not get the deep points out of making this order, but you will ground and create a foundation on which to build things even more. Now, some of you, some of you are able to make that foundation in your mind, but if you will write it down, that will be even clearer to you. I know that I am uh, sometimes doing that, and uh, when I write it down, it becomes even clearer to me. So, sometimes you may need that going deep and sometimes you may not. But each reading has this amazing potential to help, help you grow and empower yourself and uh, enlighten you and uh, help you see things that uh, are there inside of you and maybe you're not aware. At first glance, this is what I'm saying, that you may not see those things that are deep inside because they are deep. They are not meant to be seen just very easily. So by working with the reading, you will start seeing those too. And you will get to those actionable steps to get you going. But be aware that action for me may not be the same as action for you. For example, for me saying that um, you need to learn how to love yourself, that is action for me. That is practical action for me. For some people may not be. Because when I say that, I mean a lot of things. I mean, for example, get to know yourself, read about uh, love, read about uh, your abilities, understand yourself deeply uh, and why you don't love yourself. What's the reason here? Why uh, is this happening? In what situation and how? Go to a mentor or a teacher hear more about love, understand more research and work with readings that speak about this subject, read about this subject, go to courses about this subject, make exercises about this subject. So for me, those are all practical aspects. But I may not say all of that, because if I say all of that, that the, then the reading will become like hours and hours and hours. And uh, it's not practical for me to do that. Okay, so this is how you get the practical, actionable first things to do and uh, how to go on with them. By making a summary, by making and withdrawing keywords and the main points. And also, now let's go to the emotional aspects. And we will have feelings, things that you will feel while listening to the reading. Now, for personal readings, those are for you. For a general reading, most of the things that do not resonate with you, I actually recommend that you let them go because you don't know if they're for you or not. But if you feel that you are so intensely caught in those feelings, then you need to work with them and I recommend to work with them. First, just a simple thing, just note them down, observe them, understand that you feel them, just understand and see them there, acknowledge that they are there and that you feel that way and you may not know why. The reading may provide you with an answer if you again focus on, on that or it may not. It depends on the reading and the subject and your feelings. Again, you can note the sensations in your body as you watch this uh, reading or you hear it. 
Some people feel a lot of things in their bodies because of the vibrations I emit through my voice and because my voice leaves many of the times the energy of the reading and I may cry, I may go deeply into grief, I may uh, just express through my voice insecurity, fear, um, anger, all sorts of things. Now I am uh, learning how to express that freely in the readings and I um, I evolve in the in being okay with expressing that but I also need to express it in a way that's okay for me and you as well. So these are the emotional aspects. Let's go to the mental aspects. You may have judgment, criticism coming up in a reading. You may criticize yourself. You may criticize something in the, re in the reading. You may start a conflict of opinion. You may start uh, something uh, that's uncomfortable for you to understand or be aware of. You may start to fight. So if you, be, if you become aware of that, you can again work with that and observe it and say, well, uh, why am I judging this in this way? What's happening? Why am I creating this conflict inside of me? Of me? Is that about me? Because this is a general reading and it may not be about you. So is that about me? You can ask yourself that. Is this actually something that I can fix? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something you cannot control and you just need to accept as it is. Is this something that I can work on to gain more awareness and wisdom? Then go ahead and work with that again with a journal, for example, with observation, with expression, with just you being aware and asking questions. What's happening here with me, for example? Why am I being so judgmental on myself or on this uh, particular idea? Again here, a journal may be really helpful for you. As mental aspects and also expressions, you may also withdraw all of the questions get all of the questions or um, the exercises out of the reading and use them to enhance and grow your abilities or whatever the subject of the reading. Use the exercises in your life, use the questions to gain more awareness and clarity. And you can also contemplate on various ideas that you may not understand from there. Now, as a general uh, indication, when we judge something really harshly about ourselves or about other people, we either do not accept it, we either do not understand it fully, we either have so many projections and illusions about that that we do not see the truth. So here, Accepting that you may not understand something will help you a lot and having respect for what you do not understand as well as understanding that even if you think you understand, you may not in some cases, you may not fully understand, you may just grasp a few things but not the others, just the points uh, on the surface but, but not the deep. So give yourself a break with the criticism and also open your ego. Let yourself go here uh, to accept more, to go deep and to accept you do not understand sometimes, even if you understand, because this keeps your mind open, keeps your mind open to future wisdom or to future insight and uh, this is how you grow a lot, a lot more. Now we get to spiritual aspects and we have the instant flashes, for example. Some people will get instant flashes of memory, of wisdom 
especially in the personal readings, but sometimes this may happen in general pick a card readings as well. So when you get those instant flashes, pause the reading and work with them. Be aware of that. Be um, welcoming to that new information and um, just let it come to you, open up and integrate it. You may get spiritual wisdom, a lot of it, and uh, in this spiritual aspect of a reading, you will get a lot of uh, wisdom information that you will not be aware of it. You will not be aware of what you will get at this aspect at first, because it will be in your aura like a possibility of understanding. And if you open up to those uh, wisdom, to that uh, information and wisdom there, then it will uh, start to connect with you and become available for you to work with. So you will get uh, most times a lot of things that you will not know about. And also, when I speak about guides and um, I get general insights from your guides. This is also something general because the guides will just uh, agree to send a general message and I will ask for that so I will not get confused about um, what messages I convey. Sometimes I will uh, get a few messages like two, three, four, for a, f uh, a few groups in that reading and that is okay but it will not uh, come from your specific guides. It may not come directly but it will come at the same time, you see, because it is a common message that uh, is conveyed to you. And the same thing about soul messages or other messages from the divine themes. Now, let's see about working with visions, just a little bit. Working with visions, this doesn't require a lot of work. Visions are usually so pervasive. My clients say they stick with them most of the time they remember the vision, not everything uh, that I say, most of the other things get uh, forgotten, but the vision stays with them because it's so vivid and it has such a great impact on, uh, on them and for them. And that vision is actually the guidance for the reading and it is also the aspect that will connect them to all of the guidance of the reading, even if they do not remember it. But if they work with the reading, like some of my clients do, they come back to me and say, I didn't even know that you said that before I actually worked with the reading as you suggested. I have so much more clarity now and the confusion, uh, I cannot even explain the clarity that I have now. I thought that before things were clear, but I actually understand that they weren't. And uh, that clarity there doesn't compare with what I have now. So by working with the reading, you get clearer and clearer and you integrate the information and uh, you make it useful for you, you make it work for you. The clearer it is, the more useful it will be. And clarity comes with integration of the reading. Okay, now let's just remind you of the tools, the main tools to work with the reading and we will get to the finish of this teaching moment. So the main tools is to re-listen as many times as you need. You may re-listen many times, not many times, a few times, two, three times for starters without uh, taking notes, without making a summary or anything because it will build your foundation and uh, help you ground that information. Then you may work with a journal and take notes, take, uh, write down 
or <laughs> write down keywords, write down the main points, make a summary, write down the questions, the exercises and work with them, contemplate on the main points, on the ideas and guidance of the reading and all of this may take some time but it will bring to you such great results if you just take the chance to work with the reading you will get better results and clearer guidance and also this is a wonderful tool to get you started to work with yourself and um, to just get yourself uh, get yourself in a state of knowing yourself better by working with these readings you will grow a lot you will grow a lot and this may actually be the way that you grow or your main work by working with readings or pick a card readings or personal readings as well again the readings have many layers so you can also write down practical things emotional aspects, mental aspects, and spiritual aspects, and this will also get you more, more clarity. And work with those aspects as well. As a general thing, I invite you to let go of expectations, projections, judgments, and all sorts of things that um, may arise before the reading or during the reading for starters until you get more comfortable of working with them if you're not at first now these are the main tools to work with the reading if you are interested in knowing more about this just write in the comments and let me know what aspect you would like me to better explain or go in depth with I hope you give yourself a chance to work with this tool because it's an amazing tool for growth and self-exploration. I wish you all of the love in the world. I uh, hope that you get to be clear on how to work with the reading and you have more confidence right now and uh, more awareness on what results you can get out of that reading. Have a wonderful day, love and wisdom and see you again in the next videos.